His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit to the Russian military tech show Army 2016 in the city of Kabinka in the suburb of the Russian capital Moscow during his official visit to Russia. His Majesty was received by the Russian Deputy Prime Minister in charge of defense industry, Dmitry Rogozin, and the Russian Minister of Defense, Sergei Shoigu. Upon arriving, His Majesty was welcomed with a military anthem and then inspected the Russian Guard of Honor. Accompanied by the Russian officials, His Majesty the King then inspected the exhibited military equipment, which included the latest Russian military technology, after which he conducted official talks with the Russian Deputy Prime Minister in charge of defense industry, discussing means of mutual cooperation in the field of space science. His Majesty affirmed the necessity of making use of Russian expertise in this field so as to achieve the needs of the kingdom and its future aspirations. His Majesty the King delivered a statement at the end of his visit in which he expressed deep appreciation to the Russian President Vladimir Putin for his invitation as well as his pride of the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries. He also conveyed his wishes of more development and prosperity for the bilateral relations. His Majesty the King stated he was glad that Bahrain's participation in such an important forum and hailed the high level of Russian technology in defence manufacturing and its significant development, which reflects Russia's expertise in this field. His Majesty affirmed the Bahraini military delegation's interest in participating in such forums to benefit from Russia's great military experience. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Russian Defense Military for organizing this forum, which attracted the participation of the biggest defense manufacturers and study centers, wishing all success in the future. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived yesterday in Russia on a visit for talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin on bilateral relations and ways of enhancing joint cooperation in all fields, in addition to the regional and international developments. His Majesty the King was welcomed at the airport by the Russian Deputy Foreign Minister, senior Russian officials, Bahrain's ambassador to Russia, the Russian ambassador to Bahrain, and members of Bahrain's embassy in Russia. Commerçant Russian Press, one of the widely read newspapers in Russia, issued an article focusing on the important visit of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Russian Federation and his expected talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The article highlighted that the visit by His Majesty the King reflects the growing bilateral relations between Bahrain and Russia and the keen desire of both leaderships to develop such relations in various fields for the interests of the two nations. The article also highlighted the major accomplishments made by the Kingdom of Bahrain and the prosperity of the Kingdom has witnessed since His Majesty's accession to the throne in Bahrain. The paper also lauded the National Action Charter and the reform project launched by His Majesty the King. The paper affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has made a great historic step which enhanced its position regionally and internationally and has taken leading measures towards political modernization, development and consolidating constitutional institutions. It went further to point out that Bahrain is successfully moving forward in its national march under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Toward further progress and prosperity amid achievements the country has made at various fields, including economic and cultural development as well as growth, where Bahrain has become a role model within its regional and Arab sphere. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today a number of royal family members, senior state officials and scores of citizens. 
His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as a major power, commending its supportive Arab and Islamic stances. He praised its role in organizing the Hajj season and facilitating the procedures of Muslim pilgrims and dismissed attempts to undermine Saudi efforts in serving the pilgrims, asserting that all Muslims and Arabs must support the Kingdom for caring for the Muslim holy sites and providing security and safety for Hajj pilgrims. The Prime Minister lauded the care and follow-up of the custodian of the two holy mosques and monarch of Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and called on the pilgrims to contribute in the protection of the holy sites and support Saudi Arabia's efforts in this regard. Also during the meeting, His Royal Highness commended the role of Bahrain's financial and banking institutions in supporting the national economy, highlighting its successful performance despite difficult global challenges. He commended the officials of these institutions and their efforts to serve the Kingdom and provide job opportunities for Bahraini employees, in addition to their contributions to the commercial development of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qudaybiyah Palace a delegation of the people of Muharraq. During the meeting, His Royal Highness named the developmental project of the marine frontier of Muharraq Saada, which means happiness, as it aims to cheer the people of the city up. The project is to become a hub for the area, as with the goal of attracting both citizens and visitors. It will include tourist and commercial services, such as a traditional shopping mall, multi-storey car park and a hotel. His Royal Highness said that it will be an aesthetic, architectural and entertaining project. It will be located in place of the current Muharraq post office and will be connected by a pedestrian bridge to a marine coast, a port and an area for cafe and restaurants. The delegation thanked His Royal Highness for the launch of the project. His Royal Highness affirmed the government constantly seeks to develop all villages and cities Taking in consideration Muharraq's rich history, he said, it deserves more projects that will reinforce its historic and cultural status. He said the efforts to develop all the kingdom's regions stem from the government's desire and keenness to provide the best lifestyle for the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness stated that the kingdom is lucky to have such people who are bonded by love, brotherhood and unity, which has been the base for more prosperity and development adding that every citizen has their own noteworthy contribution in the prosperity of the kingdom. The Prime Minister pointed out that the people's remarkable contributions extend to this present day, as seen in their honourable and courageous stances in defence of this country and preserving its unity. The Governor of Muharraq, Mr Salman bin Isa al-Hindi, delivered a speech on behalf of the people of Muharraq, expressing thanks and loyalty to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister.
هذه هي المحرم تتشرف بأن تقف بين يدي سموكم الكريمتين في هذه الأيام المباركة مقدمة الحب والولاء المطلق كما عهدتموها سموكم دائما وكما كانت منذ مئات السنين ولا زالت تقف مقدمة الشكر والولاء والحب الخالص لسموكم حفظكم الله سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي إن المحرق بكافة مدنها وقراها ترفع شكرك لكم لدعم سموكم لكل المشاريع التنموية التي أمرتم بها ووجهتم بإقامتها وكان آخرها إقامة مشاريع سياحية على سواحلها فلكم يا من بنيتم نهضة الوطن العزيز الحب والشكر والامتنان Rashid Al Zayani Mubara, an organization that takes care of charity works, laid the foundation stone of Mahfouda Said Al Zayani Mosque in Al Janabiyya. In the presence of the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, and Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The ceremony was also attended by Minister of Industry and Commerce, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, Minister of Housing, Engineer Bassim bin Yaqub Al Hamar. Advisor to His Majesty the King for Media Affairs, Nabil bin Yaqub al Hamar, Sunni Endowments Council Chairman, Dr. Rashid al Hajri, Northern Governor Ali bin al Sheikh Abdullah Hussein al Asfur, and a number of prominent Bahraini figures. The Minister of Housing stressed that Al Zayani Mubara is noted for its charity work across the country and plays a significant role in religious, national, and social levels. Mubara's last project was. Rahid Al Zayani Mosque in Galali. He also said the event was ple has pleased people, especially as it coincides with the first blessed ten days of Dhu Al Hijjah. The mosque, which will be built on an 1,861 square meter area, includes a prayer room for men that holds up to 600 people and another one for women that holds up to 160 people. In certain occasions, the mosque can hold up to a thousand people. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the achievement of Secretary General of the Royal Charity Organization, Dr. Mustafa Al Sayed, on receiving the Arabian Creativity Shield 2016 by Arab Development Achievers Foundation in Egypt and affirmed the important role of Bahraini capabilities in various fields in representing Bahrain in international events. His Highness praised the efforts of Dr. Al Sayed in implementing the directives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa in providing charity and humanitarian work in Bahrain and supporting neighborly countries and his contributions in the managerial and industrial fields and charitable works. He also hailed his efforts in promoting principles and values in the mind of young generations through his writings and children's stories. For his part, Dr. Mustafa Al Sayed expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his congratulations. He also expressed his pride in receiving this honor from a deep rooted organization that focuses in Arab achievements and creativity. He dedicated this achievement to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and commended the support he received personally from His Royal. Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. 
He also commended the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and stressed that his honouring is for Bahrain's leadership and people, stating that all of his achievements would not have been made without the support of Bahrain's leadership and people who stood by him throughout this journey. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier on the occasion of Bahrain's national youth team winning the 7th Asian Men's Youth Handball Championship for the first time in its history by beating the Japanese team. He added that such a win reflects the support the sport movement is receiving from the wise leadership. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that such a win was the result of proper planning by the Bahrain Handball Association and commended the national junior team for winning first place in the championship. His Highness expressed his pride in the efforts demonstrated by the team players and their keenness in giving an excellent performance, which has helped realise the positive Asian athletics outcome. He commended the powerful performance of the players, which has portrayed a very positive image of Bahrain and affirmed that winning first place reflects Bahrain's status. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputised the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the 7th Asian Men's Youth Handball Championship final match, which was held yesterday at Khalifa Sports City Hall. His Highness Sheikh Khalid crowned Bahrain's junior team with the title of the championship after defeating the Japanese team with the result of 23-25 to in a match that was filled with excitement. Bahrain's team delivered an outstanding performance and achieved the first position to win the Asian Cup. His Highness crowned the Japanese team with the second position medal. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the wise leadership as well as His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid. Bahrain Handball Association member and handball fans on the occasion of Bahrain junior team achieving the con continental title of the championship, which was hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain from August 27th to September 5th. Bahrain's junior team has qualified to the Handball World Cup, which will be held in Tbilisi, Georgia next year. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated President and members of the association and fans of the sport on the occasion of Bahrain junior team achieving first position and qualifying to the World Cup, which will be held in Georgia. His Highness highlighted that this achievement reflects the constant support given by the Bahrain Olympics Committee under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Highness also noted the efforts of the Bahrain Handball Association in preparing plans and programmes that include the talents of the youth and refine them, thus ensuring the development of local competitions. His Highness praised the full national team for raising the name of the kingdom and achieving results in various sports. The Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, crowned the team of Safra for winning the league, which was organised by the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports from 8th of August to 5th of September. More details in this report with Sarah Al Burek. The Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned the winning teams of the fourth Youth Central Futsal League of His Highness under the theme Generations Form. The ceremony was attended by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Mr. Hisham Al Jodar, sponsors, sports unions, heads, and officials. In Bahrain, we need um, to have a lot of these events here because uh, when a lot of people go out and, and work out and try to exercise, they need a goal. They need to achieve something. So when you put events, this is what they target. So, so exercising and going out and, and, and trying to, be, to maintain their health and wellness 
uh, will have a goal and they will be more motivated to do better. Our vision basically is to have an independent individual who is able to, uh, you know, take care of himself and be and give uh, enough as well, not just to himself but to the to the nation. And we are going towards 2030. This is our vision. The success of the League for People with Disabilities is an indicator of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports' success in attracting teams. The sports centers in Bahrain need such uh, tournaments. I mean, a very good environment and uh, what I can say, uh, uh, FIFA referees, uh, I mean, and the other thing. I mean, it is, uh, if anybody will come here, he cannot find any uh, little mistakes, which means every year this uh, championship is um, uh, improved a lot. So we are also, I think, uh, the committee, the uh, head of the committees uh, here is planning for the next year directly after uh, the finishing of this tournament. This is Sarah Barek for Bahrain 55. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the important conclusion and results reached during discussions on the issue of oil between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Russian Federation, alongside the G20 group meeting which was held in China. In a statement issued by the Foreign Ministry, the Kingdom of Bahrain affirmed its full support for the results of the discussion, which has considered important strategic steps to achieve balance in the oil market. Bahrain asserts on the need for such construction cooperation and holding of such meetings and discussions among main oil producers for the purpose of oil market stability and endorsing development efforts worldwide. The Kingdom of Bahrain values the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Russia and their strive aimed at bringing solutions for the various problems faced by the international community. The Kingdom affirms on the need to exert regional and international efforts for the purpose of ensuring a better future for countries of the world. The General Directorate of Civil Defence has launched in cooperation with the General Directorate of Ports Security a campaign on the safety of pilgrims at Bahrain's borders to ensure the safety of the public during Hajj season. General Director of Civil Defence highlights that a specialised team was deployed at the Bahrain International Airport to instruct pilgrims to ensure safety conditions at their accommodation, such as the availability of fire extinguishers, in addition to avoidance of crowded areas and asking for emergency help while performing the rituals. Pilgrims are urged to remember important contact numbers, telephone numbers of their Hajj service providers and accommodation and to follow the instructions of the competent authorities in Saudi Arabia. The campaign aims to encourage pilgrims to believe that safety is the responsibility of all.